Mike, we've seen a lot of 16-year-olds play for Canada over the years and, and make a name for themselves. Connor Bedard turned 17 a couple of weeks ago. He's already been dominant in junior hockey and has a four-goal game in this tournament, even though it was postponed back in December. It's amazing someone who's not even been drafted is going to be the offensive focal point for Team Canada. It just doesn't happen that someone his age is such a key cog before the tournament gets going. You can see why, though. Explosive skater, great hands, and one of the best releases we have seen in years. We're going to talk about an awful lot. His ability to shoot the puck, get it past goaltenders from in tight, from a distance. All eyes from Canada, around the whole tournament, from us, are going to be on Connor Bedard. Big skates to fill for him, but he's had no trouble doing that throughout his career so far. Looks ahead to McTavish, busting out Bedard. McTavish goes rink wide and finds Bedard. Bedard in, shoots, goal! That is world class. That is 90 seconds into a shift. <laughs> when you're tired, you can't do anything, including shoot. Look at the effort. Look at the everything in him he's putting into that shot. The fact that he has the energy, gas up in the tank to go on that rush and to make that shot. Incredible stuff by Connor Bedard. 51 goals in 62 games for Regina this year. Just the third 16 year old ever to score 50 goals in the western league that's, that's just a shot that you know very few hockey players in the world can make at any age that really is jaw dropping i mean that for a smaller guy he just gets it away so fast accurate and, and hard he's draft eligible he's just 17. just turned but last a couple weeks yeah. talked about a stick 70 flex 70 flex, very I mean. whippy quite long relative to his height so you have a little more chance to so, use that the shaft to flex and so, release. So wouldn't you say two things that make it hard to handle the puck, the length of the stick and the flex? Yes, both both make it more difficult. You're kind of trading off, you know, my shot versus my control, but he's obviously got it dialed in in every aspect. Dard works in. Connor Bedard shoots at the goal post. He's inside of the pipe. That guy wears out the iron. Multiple posts every game. A little slingy wrister that should not be a threat, and he just gets it away so quickly. And we talk a lot about the shot, but it is <laughs> up to the hype. But Cozy, a great stop there, and the rebound blocked as well for McTavish. In comes Bedard again. Bedard centers to McTavish, a shot on goal, blocker saved by Lekosi. This in the corner is Bedard, shoots from a sharp angle, and Lekosi has seen plenty of Connor Bedard and company here in the opening moments. <laughs> wow, Connor Bedard, you're thinking, if you're Slovakia, watch 16, keep an eye on him, don't turn pucks over. And as Bedard races to that loose puck, in comes Connor Bedard. The camera's a sharp angle shot. And let Cozy got a piece of that. Here's Bedard back with it. Bedard dancing at the top. Flips it back across. What a pass to McTavish. Back for Bedard. In tight scores. They throw it around. And Bedard and McTavish with the chemistry. That felt like Sadine to Sadine. Two guys playing by themselves with eight other guys on the ice. McTavish and Bedard got something cooking. How about this two-man game? Work in the top of the slot. Little give and go. You draw in two, throw it to space, and then get open yourself. Ah, that's pretty to watch. Back and center right. Quickly ahead to Bedard. Honor Bedard. Walks right in, dances through the middle. Bedard holds. Feeds that back down. Cormier shot to Hanukkah save. McTavish back with it. Works it back for Bernard. Here he comes again. Shoots him out of that high. Ceiling. Back to Bernard. In shoots. Sahanik will stop and rebound skips away. Sahanik wasn't sure what it was. Now McTavish. The center pass for Bernard went just wide. At the point held by Ceiling. Across to Offman. Diagonal pass for Bernard. Another shot. And another one. Two good stops by Sahanik. Bernard. Drops it back off to Auckland. Cormier in, shoots and it's that wide. This line all over it here. Bedard with several looks, all kinds of wrist shot opportunities. Finds a way to just get it through traffic, get it to the net, and it's hard to pick up as a defenseman, as a goaltender, as we've seen. And you give him three looks, he thinks he's supposed to score. He, he just thinks nobody's going to stop me four times in a row. In across the line. And Fast knocks away from Hauser. And in comes Greg. Brittany Greg on the breakaway. In shoots. Sends to Hanek. Makes the stop. Nice beat here through traffic from Bedard's being Greg. Greg trying to go against the green. 
it's, uh, it's an honor to do it. It's a center pass goes to McTavish. In a low miss to McTavish. And, you know, he's obviously a threat every time that he's out there. He seems that much quicker, that much stronger than when we saw him at Christmas. He's listed as five foot nine, but he's not a small player. He's 181 pounds. He's very hockey strong. He's got explosive speed, explosive power. But the thing that you keep coming back to is the shot. He's a back and back. But now he's the goal post. Puck the card. The puck was on his second, a stick for a nanosecond. And it's off the pipe. Snaps out ahead to Bedard. In comes Connor Bedard, with McTavish, Bedard shoots, scores! Connor Bedard with a lightning strike! You want to know how to shoot it really hard, we talked about the shot for Connor Bedard. One, he's got an incredibly whippy stick, a 70 flex, but watch his eyes. Watch the effort he's putting into this pull and release. Like, everything he's got into it to flex that stick, kick it off, and wow, not a bit of spin on that puck either. He pulls it clean, changing the angle, just a technically very sound release. But the effort to flex and release shown on his face, I love it. It's fantastic. He has talked in the past where he's looked at Austin Matthews and the manner in which Matthews can change the angle on his shot, and he's patterned himself after that in terms of the release. I just love the understanding that he has a gift from God, and he just says, give me the puck somewhere inside the blue line, and I have the opportunity to score. And I swear talented goal scorers, they don't know where the puck is going. But he just wants the puck anywhere inside the blue line, whether it be from distance or in tight. It's one thing to have the shot and score the goals, but to be a distance shooter, that separates yourself from everybody else. Well, one of the things I love about Connor Bedard as well, when he gets to the middle of the ice, I mean, he is such a threat, not just because he has the ability to change the angle of that shot, but he also has the ability to scan and this is something he does so effectively he'll process he'll scan he'll actually skate on diagonals away from the net while he figures out his direction and attack to the net so he's absolutely unbelievable when he gets to the middle of the ice because he can go either side and then is he a threat gel not the lead pass chips to the guard in shoot scores Connor Bedard strikes but he recognizes he takes a quick look because he recognized that coach has got it so you see that step to the outside that gives him the ability to skate onto that puck now he's on his off side so his forehand is to the middle of the ice doesn't get all of it but you see the bottom hand just push down far side accuracy pinpoint puck came bouncing out of that corner right in front now back in the pointers thompson is shot deflected puck at suhanek lunges to make that save bedard comes close on the deflection but suhanek Makes the blocker save. Russia is also the host of the World Championship next spring. Oh, but a dog. Big hit there. As he slammed in the check. A big check. Check is a big guy, too. Six foot two, 200 pounds. And Bedard goes out again. again. Seems to have a bee in his bonnet. And after a much bigger uh, check, you get him once. And we'll go get him again. <laughs> it's great to see. Waiting for it is Bedard, chips out to McTavish. Back for Bedard, rink wide, he goes for Cooley. In comes Will Cooley with a shot, that the flex wide. Cooley back on it. Spins it down to McTavish for Bedard. Stand on it, second try, that was blocked. Don't see that every day. And Kanak back with it for the Swiss, and Bedard hammered him down. Bedard's got a little edge to him. Yeah. When he gets frustrated and nice and clean. The back pressure. We know the stuff that he already could do at a world-class level. Rounding out the other stuff is what will make him a, a better NHL player. Fair to say, Mike, that you can teach him the oh, offensive yeah. stuff. You yeah. can't teach him to do what he does. Nope. Any good coach can teach him about positioning and getting pucks in and getting pucks out and blocking shots and passing lanes. And Bedard takes a run over the lynch there. Pass for Seaman Tymel. Lost that puck to Gauthier and Bedard has it back. Bedard. Great play that'll wind away from two finished four checkers. Now moves it back to center ice. In comes Connor Bedard. Penalty coming now as he got hurt, but Connor Bedard forces the Finns into a penalty. To now Canada on the power play, eight for 14 on the man advantage of the tournament. Johnson down to McTavish. Seven different players have scored power play goals. Johnson shoots, turned away by Jacklep. Bouncing puck in front, still loose. Zellinger back across to Johnson. Final seconds of the power play. Johnson drops it back, but now a hard shot. He ripped that wide. Feeds that back to Zellweger. Works it and shoots. Bouncing puck around. Bedard with a chance. Still loose in front. Stay going to reach for it. Jack down. Kent Johnson in for Bedard. Tip that wide. Johnson. 
Slides it back to Bedard. Bedard waits, shoots short side, and Yakulis got it on Connor Bedard. He's all just shy away from contact and from puck battles, and you're never going to score as much as he does unless you're willing to go to the spots where the puck is going to be. And sometimes you win that battle, sometimes you lose it, but he will be involved in these kind of scrums. Right. Not just because they're super paying attention to him, but because he doesn't shy away from it either. He he gets after the puck wherever it is, trying to get it back so we can create more offense. And then after the play, <laughs> tell you what, he, he gets involved, doesn't he? He's yeah. in a lot of little skirmishes. Well, you, he doesn't back away. And you've got to think he's targeted oh, he's still every going. You've got to push back. you got to push back. You just take it, take it all the time and try to score a goal. At some point, you got to push back a little bit as well. well we've seen it a couple times. He's been bumped after the whistle, right? Guys so coming There it off. is again. Same Demets. He's getting the same treatment that Sidney Crosby got in the 04 World Junior as a 16-year-old when, when everyone tried him. Everyone tried to, you know, right. test him, push uh, him. You come in as the wonder kid, right? You're the, you're the hot new thing. Let's see how hot you are. Knocked down by Bedard. Here he comes again. Bedard, lead pass. In comes Joshua Waugh for McTavish. In, shoots, scores! That's right, Mason McTavish! And that all starts with Connor Bedard. Taking a hit and a big one in the neutral zone to spring the 2 on 0 break. Not a lot of chances so far in the power play, which as Bedard drops it back. And Tavish back across. That shot by Johnson was blocked by Farney. And Tavish back to Bedard. Shoots. He whistled that wide. Now picked up Bedard almost in. McTavish now finds Bedard in. Shoots. And Tahanik makes a point blank save on Connor Bedard. Hope someone's got a picture of that for him. Moves it and shoots, and Mr. Beck is wide. You know, he rushes to the neutral zone, trying to get to about tops the circles in where he can shoot to score. That's his objective, get to his scoring area, which is basically tops the circles. You know, this kind of looks like Connor McDavid one on four, except that David wants to get all the way to the net. No chance in front. McTavish turned away point blank. McTavish saved. Oh, what a chance for Dart. Turn away and tight rebound. Vincent Depot got his stick on or skate on that. Broken coverage, not the guy you want to leave standing all alone. He's trying to open up and then go five fall. Oh, this ball gets the skate sideways. And Ratu lined up by Bedard. Sabrango up for Bedard. In he comes one on one with Rafkin. Shoots, that was blocked by Rafkin. Bedard knocks it down to McTavish. To Bedard, one on one in the other one. In comes Connor Bedard, walking in, shoots, and Yakla gets a piece of that. And a gold medal that was worth the wait.